Welcome back to GMA3. The latest jobs report found that unemployment ticked it down slightly to four. Hey, Julie, Sue, thank you so much for being kind of in the big picture perspective. We saw that big interest rate cut last week. How do you think that's going to affect jobs? Well, look, first in the White House denied that it was a real thing and used it to unleash a torrent of racism, calling it the China virus, uh, Kung flu. And in this place where many people have said, you know, the economy is too hot, it's going to crash. Now we're heading for everybody. And with that said, last week, unemployment benefits had a four month. Make things in America again. We should make sure, and those should be good jobs, good union jobs, which help us to evaluate if what we're doing is working. And by all of those measures, for a long time, and we need to keep on doing that work, right, for the entire four years that we've been here. We have to ask you about 33,000 factory workers currently on strike. They're asking for higher pay. Do you know where this stands? Do you think we'll have a deal on this anytime soon? Right, so this is an example of, you know, the, the bottom line is workers in this country act, uh, but they continue to talk, and that's an important piece of tour. You get a chance to speak with local leaders across the country. So what are you? So we believe not just um, that the number of one of my favorite parts of the job is getting to talk to local popularity of women's sports soaring in the spotlight. Another round of Monday morning quarterback with the WNBA rather play. Oh, Mike Muse. My a moment. What are yeah. we seeing here? You came in hot right there, Eva. I, 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 I appreciate me. it. I, I mean, what I listen. Listen. I'm just saying, <laughs> women have been, they have earned this. They should have seen this a long time coming. Yeah. It's nice to and see it finally happen. And we second that, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. This, <laughs> <laughs> but let's go, though, to talk some data. You know uh -huh. I love data because data led into three parts. Performance, access, and content. The performance, I mean, Asia Wilson. These athletes mm -hmm. now are dominating. The way that they're playing basketball is like anything I've ever seen. She is a success, and what a great mascot I love uh, for that. So the thing about reason why I focus on basketball a little bit on this way is because it was fun. For the next one, they want to hear about fun. next week. Yes. <laughs> we know you love it. What you need to know to stay ahead of tech next. Mm -hmm. Plus, it's a buddy Monday here on GMA. Dr. Jerry, I'm back, and we are talking strangely about how it's getting hotter, which you wouldn't think is a medical issue, but extreme heat is. Mm, it is. It's a very much a public health yeah. And they looked at the rate heat, and that number can only be expected to increase by the year of 2060, significantly higher. We're talking about 300, 400. 500% disproportionately affecting communities of color. Another reason why not only do we have to identify this air of the risk of heat related illness, holding those who are leading accountable to make sure that your community is safe, providing cooling centers, and again, getting pay attention. Absolutely. All right, Doc, thank you very much. We appreciate it. We're back in a moment. Stay with us. Stuff. It's that time. <laughs> Turtleneck weather. Fashion. We talk fashion as well. <laughs> Your prescription for wellness. It's about tech neck. We were talking about this last oh, time. Yes. You know I'm really sick. Our phones. Now, mm. Eva, you have two phones. Yeah, but, you know, it can be difficult. Number one, you want to make sure that you're holding the phone the right Anybody do that. Well, yeah. this is how we need to be now. Right. because. <laughs> <laughs> and you want to position it at a 90 degree angle, just away from your face. You want your lower spine all adjusted, stacked on top, on top of each other, and, mm. and it's going to make it really difficult. I think this is something we all. Yeah, but then that, you know, but then you drop it on your face. Yes, and I do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And folks, we would love to hear from you, so please hit us up. Mm. Mm. <laughs> you know, they pick on the one that's loved the most. You know that. <laughs> when we come back, saving at the grocery store, we'll get some. Nothing but love. <laughs> is here to help you save us some green while checking out at the grocery store. Yeah. We can all use that. Oh, for sure. And she's here to share her top tips for creating budget-friendly meals and easing the load on our wallet. Please welcome Real Simple's food director, Jenna Howell. Jenna. Jenna. Talking about this, we have all felt it. Mm -hmm. The groceries are expensive. So how much are we actually spending at the grocery store right now? A lot. <laughs> so the Something that can not only help us save money, but also earn. So Flip is an app. That's amazing. I know. And so Fetch is another app that helps you earn rewards for everyday purchases like groceries. You scan in your receipts and you can earn. Hey, don't buy anything but groceries, food at the yes, grocery store. Exactly. Remember you are there, six rolls at the grocery store. Sister. Well, and over-the-counter medications. You know, these can often be marked up 15 to 30 percent at the mm. grocery store. And if you're going to like Walmart or Target, they're so much cheaper. All right, let's talk about poultry sales. You say yeah. we can finally save? You can. And it's not just poultry, too. More than you need. This is marked down because they're trying to get rid of it. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, well, meat might be about to expire so, or something but like even that. Even if it's just defrosted only when you need it, and the average tip there. Mm -hmm. yeah. I was about to say, mom's over here agreeing <laughs> right here. <laughs> we appreciate it, and good to have you here as well. Thank you. Thank you.
And the show Real Simple out now wherever magazines are sold. With Millie on the dough bar. Millie is here. We're going to take this is you. That right? is me at everywhere. Oh, spot them, and I'm like, oh, let me just, <laughs> let me just figure out how to look Strike cooler. a pose. Strike a pose. <laughs> and Sterling on stage there doing what he does best, bringing on the last. And now Sterling is on the road with an all new comedy tour and brand new podcast. That's right. He's teamed up with his wife, Laura Whitmore, mm -hmm. to watch the true crime podcast Murder They Wrote. Yes. But you may have recognized that voice because he is also the voice of the hit reality series very, very, very long time. My husband thinks I'm absolute trash for it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> People love you on this show, your voice. Do they recognize it? I've been some of the true biggest crime stories in the world. Mm -hmm. How do you go about doing that? Story, and we dive into it and the court process and the, the thinking behind the person that committed the crime. You know. I was like, you know. I mean it in that way. I just okay. mean like you okay. know. My relevant, what is being relevant nowadays? I'm, a, I'm the voice of Love Island, but I'm also a dad. How is that a thing? Island, dad, you work with your wife now. She's like, yeah. I can see her like at moments holding her breath over there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think that's everyone that's married. <laughs> Anyone that's been at a public function with their husband, and when obviously you're doing it with your wife, you've got to oh. those two parts of my personality. Whereas on a comedy show, I'm more like, sort of not ready for this moment. Oh. You look good. You look good. Oh. One more time for Ian Sterling, everybody. Thanks, everyone. Thank, Thank you. you. A lot of fun here. And that is what you need to know for today. I'm Eva Pilgrim. I'm DeMarco Morgan. And I'm Dr. Darian. For all of us here at ABC News, including Ian right here, have a good one, and we will see you tomorrow, everybody. One more time.